<laughs> well, my Kratky lettuce, my lettuce that I was growing in the Kratky method hydroponically that I bragged about last week, how awesome it was doing, is now looks like this. And the reason it looks like this is not because it ran out of water, it's because the roots look like this. And this is bad. See how they're like moldy and death and gross and brown? They started wilting slowly. And I thought perhaps, because I had, as I mentioned before, these boxes aren't quite big enough to hold enough water for a full maturity cycle for two heads of lettuce. So I filled it back up to about halfway. You can see here I have a mark. This is all the way. This would have drowned the plant. I only filled it up to about here. After I did that, I added a little bit more fertilizer, which I thought, well, maybe that would that killed it, but I don't think that was the reason either. And a little bit more fertilizer to kind of, you know, keep it going. Uh, but the leaves slowly started wilting, slowly started wilting. And I thought, well, that's super. I've killed it. I added too much fertilizer, added too much water or whatnot. Well, this box over here, I harvested this lettuce yesterday, and I will show you what that looks like through the magic of video, video editing. Um, shortly after that started wilting as well, and I didn't refill this one, and I didn't change the fertilizer in this one either. But if you look at the roots, also brown, disgusting, death. They're whiter, they're not as bad yet, and that's because it doesn't smell good either. It smells kind of rotten, like the inside of a pumpkin. Sweet, rotten smell, I don't know. Now, what they're supposed to look like is white, clean roots. As you can sort of see these new ones. See that one right there growing down on these seedlings I showed you last week? I planted these on the 24th of November. So that's been a couple weeks since I planted those. 10 days, yeah, 6, almost 10 days, 11 days. And they're doing pretty good. They'll take off here in the next few days. They'll really get huge fast. I have found, though, I think that I just leave these in here too long. Like I said, I planted these early November, and I tried to let them get more mature. You can start cutting leaves off of them after like 20 days, and using them for sandwiches or whatever, cutting the outside leaves off. But I wanted to get like a big head of lettuce. I want to see if I get a big head of lettuce. Previously, when I've grown them in here, I've cut them off at about 28, 30 days. And I thought, well, that's great, but can I get a little bit more out of them? Um, and apparently this happens. Uh, what I don't do, what I didn't do, is I didn't pH test my water. I didn't check the nutrient level, I just put the recommended amount per the amount of water uh, that I have in the box, which is just under, just about a gallon, um, so I don't think that had anything to do with it. I think it was just, they were just in there too long and they started to rot and they started to die. So these I'm going to keep a close eye on. These should be ready about Christmas Day, we'll have a nice big Christmas breakfast salad, or lunch or something, I don't know. Uh, should be ready about Christmas Day, we'll harvest those. And like I said, remember if you remember, I didn't put these in the peat pellets, so I'm almost tempted to let like one of them keep going for another week or two just to see if it turns brown and rots. Has anything to do with the peat pellets? Um, you can see the peat pellet here. Like I said, that's the way I, I transplanted them. The drawback about these is they should be bigger than they are. They have a little bit of a transplant shock when I take them out of the peat pellet and stick them into just into the hydrogen. These, you just stick the peat pellet in the basket, in the net cup, and off it goes. Keeps going, doesn't know any different. All it knows is it has more water than it did before and more nutrients than it had before. Um, so that's where we are. Mostly dead lettuce. I have a time lapse of it growing and dying. So that should be awesome. I'll publish that as well. Uh, I don't think it's too hot down here. It's been cold outside. It's the middle of December. It's not super warm in here. Right now, this is at about 74 though. So that's not terribly cold, but not terribly warm either. This one's doing okay. Not rotten, not dead. So I'm interested to see what that hap what happens there. After Christmas, I would like to try a deep water culture in a box just like this and compare it to the Kratky method. Because the point of the Kratky method is that you put the water in and forget about it and come back in 30 days, 28 days, cut the lettuce, cut whatever you're growing, the spinach, and be on your way. Like That's the point. The point is not to have to worry about fussing with the roots or worry about how much water is left. If you've got the right size container and the right, and the right nutrients in there, it should just be good to go. So... I'm a little leery about doing the deep water culture, but um, I'm going to try it and compare it to see how it works. One other advantage is, like if you're growing lettuce in the dirt outside in the garden, you can cut this off 
and it will keep growing back. In the cracky hydroponics, you can't do that because it's it's like done. You get 30 days and you're done. So you got to start a new one like this, which is what I've done here. Um, I'm wondering if you can't, with the deep water culture, allow the like cut them off and allow them to keep growing because you're changing the water every two weeks or every week. You're chase testing the pH. You're doing all that all that stuff. Uh, it's higher maintenance, but you might be able to get a longer lifespan out of your head of less, so you don't have to. You know, you've already got this massive root structure. If you can keep the root structure healthy, it should be able to crank out some new leaves. No problems. Um, anyway, I will show you that time lapse. I'll post an update on these guys in a couple more weeks. See how they're doing without the peat pellets in there and just the, the plain hydrogen. And when I get my deep water culture set up, we'll walk through that. So, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs>